This video will show you how to set up the IP address for a brand new Alan Bradley Control Logics 1756 L82E. The video will also show you how to upgrade the firmware to make it ready for programming. To power up the controller, I have a 24 volt DC power supply and a 7 slot rack. Now let's plug the controller into slot 0 on the rack. Let's power it up. From the little display here, the controller show you its current revision 1.045 and firmware installation is required before any programming and it is set up for DSTP with this long MAC address by default. There are two ways to set up the IP address for the controller. The first one is to use the Ethernet CAT5 cable with the provided MAC address and boot P DSCP Ethernet IP commissioning tool to find the controller and set the IP address to it. And the second one is to use the USB cable with Arslin Classic to set the IP address to the controller. For the first way, using Ethernet CAT5 cable to set up the IP address to the controller, the disadvantage is would be DCP might take forever to find the controller MAC address. Finally, it found it. From my experience, the second way with the USB cable is much faster. Let's connect the controller to the computer. device driver software installed successfully. If we do not see the controller under USB driver, we will need to check the virtual chassis. And the controller is here. To set the IP address to the controller, first select the controller, right click, module configuration, then go to port configuration, select static, and then type in the IP address and network mask. The IP address is 192.168.0.90 and the network mask is 255.255.255.0 Then click apply Yes 
Sao ok The controller now has the IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot ninety. Let's disconnect the USB cable from the controller. Now let's connect the controller to the computer with the Ethernet card file cable. Let's use command prompt to check the Ethernet communication between the computer and the controller. Zero percent loss, so the connection is good. To upgrade the controller firmware, let's open Control Flash. Next. You see the controller. Next. Select the controller. Okay. Next. Finish. Yes. Okay. Update complete. Okay. Cancel. Yes. We just successfully upgraded the firmware for the controller. The revision now is 30. The controller now is ready for programming. If this video is helpful, please give it a like. Thank you for watching.